Yeah, listen, I couldn't have been any happier at half time, to be honest with you. I, I think if we'd have came in, you know, would have been disrespectful to Aberdeen. I think we'd have came in seven and up at half time. I don't think there could have been too many arguments. You know, we've Scott Taggart had one cleared off the line. We've another couple of chances as well. So. Over the moon with how we started the game, and we spoke about that before the game. How we've kind of been slow off the, you know, at the first minute. So I felt today we were on the front foot from the beginning, and you know, three 0 up after 15 minutes. The quality of the goals as well. Some of the football was really, really pleasing on the eye as well. So delighted with that. Yes, second half, you know, we we didn't play to that standard again. I think. That's that old cliche about goals changing games, and you know we're, we're four one uh, comfortable, and then obviously the, you know the ball goes through uh, the big man's legs, and mm -hmm. these things happen. You know, unfortunately, uh, you know Big Neely, in my opinion, is the best goalkeeper in the league, and we're very lucky to have him. But unfortunately, that that goal goes in, and it causes a little bit of tension, if you like, uh, around the place, um, and we just kind of lost our way for I felt ten minutes after that, but. We again then tried to play our way back into the game, and I felt that uh, I felt that we done that, and we had another couple of great chances as yeah. well. Their goalkeepers made a couple of fantastic saves. One from Jordan Kirkpatrick, where he tips over the bar, and another one with his feet. So, um, yeah, I mean, look, we could have scored more goals, but I, I made that kind of challenge to the boys before the game. I, defensively, we've been outstanding all season. You know, we've got the, the second best defensive record in the league, but we've been falling short in front of goal, and I felt as if that we. With the quality of the players that we have and, and the quality that we've brought to the club in, in January as well, we should be putting teams to the sword more than yeah. what we have been. And I think against a, a team as organised uh, as what our growth are and, and a team that's doing as well as what our growth are, for us to go and score five goals against them is, is absolutely fantastic. So I'm delighted for the boys up front. Yes, we could have been a little bit better in the second half. I felt we could have managed the game better. But... Look, if you'd have offered me five goals and three points before the game, I would have stuffed yeah. the hand off you. you know? no, a special but, night for your man getting his first ever hat trick. Delighted for the big man. He's a, I think he's a fantastic young talent. I really do. I've got um, an awful lot of time for him. He's a, he's a great boy as well. Really good attitude. Loves the game. Um, you know, it wasn't that long ago he was playing junior football and he got his opportunity at Albion Rovers. But he caught the eye last year at Albion Rovers, and you know, I think it's been well documented. I, I tried to get him um, then, but as soon as obviously a full-time club comes in for him then you expect the boy to take that opportunity I think there's more to come from him as well you know he's, he leads the line really well but he's not just a target man yeah. he's, he's, he's very mobile for the big boys a great feet and uh, you know as you can see there he's got a knife for goal as well so long may that continue uh, we've got a busy period coming up now and um, it's a great time for us to start scoring goals like that. and Gary Fleming with his first goal for the club as well yeah brilliant penalty um, yeah, he struck it really well, and uh, yeah, really, really pleased for Gaz. But I think Gaz has been extremely consistent for us uh, over the last couple of months, and he's um, yeah, really, really pleased that he that he's got his goal. But I'm delighted for the whole team. You know, I really don't like singling out guys, and Ross Stewart will get all the plaudits in the papers, no doubt, and deservedly so. But I think the you know Callum Crane, young Jamie McCartan there at left centre half, you know, just. Fantastic. So, as a group, I'm delighted. You know, Tottie and Flanagan made a difference when they came onto the park as well. So, everybody contributed, and uh, we'll take a lot of confidence from them. We've got another great game on Saturday. I look forward to now. You know, everybody loves going to Hamden, so the boys will look forward to that one. And um, you know, I'll have a problem picking a team for it now. It was a real special night for Kevin Colley. Obviously, his 250th appearance for the club. He's obviously he's somebody who's, who's been here a long time through the high, the highs and the lows. Uh, it's just it's, it's a really really good performance for you, isn't it? Kevin's a, another one, a great professional, and I was very fortunate when I took over the job that um, the kind of characters that were in the dressing room prior to that, you know, uh, likes of Kevin Colley and Ian Flanagan and even Graham Holmes, who's now left, but there was boys at this club uh, prior to me coming who had been here an awful long time. And, you know, Kevin had left as well, you know, previously, but I think it shows um, how well we try and do things at the club that we're able to encourage these boys to come back and, and for Kevin to do 250 games with any club these days is a, is a great achievement and listen he's got another hundred in the bag if he wants because he's, a, he's like the Energizer Bunny you know he just never stops running and he doesn't look like he's ever going to get old he's, he's like Peter Pan so we're delighted to have him delighted to have him and I know, I know every you know there's other managers and I won't name names but there's other managers in the league who would love to have him as well, and uh, we're very lucky to have him. And you know, if we uh, we could do with a, a few more Kevin Collies. Excellent. Really. Thanks. All right. Thank Thanks. you. Cheers, lads. All the best.